Today, the defense called the paternal grandparents of the eight-year-old victim. The couple in Texas had no knowledge of Gabriel's abuse, but they did know how his mother, Pearl, treated another son, Arnold, testifying that Pearl didn't want the four-year-old, so she gave him away. She told us that she did not love Arnold because she suffered so much during his delivery that she did not love him. Through an interpreter, Rodrigo Contreras said they never saw Pearl hit any of her children, but he and his wife saw signs. I saw a couple of times <coughs> a couple of bruises on Arnold. Pearl Fernandez will be tried separately. Four social workers also face felony charges. The prosecution has presented evidence, including Aguirre's own confession that he beat the boy. Other exhibits included handcuffs, a baton, a BB gun, and a cabinet where Gabriel was confined. Earlier today, a series of setbacks for the defense. Four witnesses standing by this morning to testify that Aguirre had difficulty with simple tasks when he worked at a McDonald's, that he was easily duped, that he was a D student who failed the ninth grade and later dropped out. The court disallowed those witnesses because the defense had no expert to testify that Aguirre's slowness was a factor in how he treated Gabriel. The judge admonished the defense. The lawyers had three years to find such an expert and didn't. No more witnesses, no hearing until Monday when the defense is expected to rest and the jury will hear closing arguments.